to the drip, bow to the front, bow to the angles, bow. Welcome, welcome. Hello guys and welcome to another banger. In this video, I'm gonna be taking you through how to avoid getting the big Facebook ban that I know all you guys have been facing. For all you people that don't know, right now in America, it's going crazy. In the US, it's going crazy. We've got election week coming up. Trump, Biden, spending millions and millions every single week. Just on Facebook ads alone, the pixel is scared, Zook's hiding, and you guys, you guys are getting banned left, right, and center. So this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how not to get banned and the things that you need to be doing and the rules you need to be following. So as always, stay tuned, because this video is gonna be a banger. All right, boom, so step one, and this is absolutely mandatory. It didn't need to be uh, mandatory for say, a few months ago, but now it's very, very important that you actually do get a registered business. If you don't have a registered business, it's gonna cause you a lot of issues, and nine times out of 10, you won't actually get your account back. The reason why so many people have been getting wiped out of the game recently is because they don't have a registered business on their account, and that's why they fail verification. Even if you're registered as a sole trader or an actual company, uh, obviously I can't advise you which one to pick, but it doesn't matter how you're registered, you just need to get registered and fill out those details. Once you've got your business number on there, it's gonna make it 10 times easier to get your account back. Now, it's gonna take you anywhere here from four to 35 days once you do get banned, but you're gonna get that account back. Now, once you've got your registered business and you filled out all the relative information, this brings you into step two. Now, step two, fill it into step one, and it's as simple as that. Fill out all your business information. If you've got the same name, if you've got a registered business address, all of these things need to match. I've seen people just get banned because their name doesn't actually match their registered business name and that there's just different inconsistencies in between it. Facebook is just a system. It looks for answers and you just got to tick those boxes. So remember, go into that business info section and fill out all of the relative information and make sure all of those boxes are ticked. If it doesn't show for you, you might be lucky, you might have got away with it. I've actually got one business account which isn't actually verified but I've spent so much money on it that it doesn't actually matter. For you guys that start off and you are new with a brand new account, make sure you filled out every single detail and all of the details actually match. That's very, very important. Now, this brings me on to step three. Step three is fairly interesting and it's something that's pretty unique to a lot of accounts and not many people do actually know about it. I'm always telling students or any people that do ask how to get registered and this thing is gonna be like a bulletproof. It's gonna make your account absolutely bulletproof and this is called the Facebook Blueprint. For those of you guys that don't know, once you do get your ad account banned, Facebook mentions that you should go and take a read of our policies. By that, they actually mean, go and have a look at the Facebook blueprint. What you need to do, head over to the link, I'll put it in the description, head over to there, sign in with the same Facebook account that you are using, and that's gonna be your personal account. Once you're in, you need to go and go to the Facebook blueprint policy test. It's a five minute test. Once you do that, it's gonna add an extra strike next to your personal name. It's gonna show Facebook that you've actually read the policies and you understand them, and it gives you some firepower once your account gets banned. If you say this, hey Facebook, my account has been banned. I apologize, I have read the Facebook policies and completed the Facebook policy blueprint test. I know it's fairly long, but once you say those keywords, they will give you your account back because they will scan it, they'll say sorry, they'll say thank you for doing the test, and I'll give you your account back. The next step, and this is actually a great tip as well, is once you've run the Facebook Blueprint policy test, go ahead and do some more tests. There are some that actually cost money, but the other why on this, especially when you are scaling, the other why on this is absolutely through the roof. It's priceless. So I recommend actually becoming a Facebook partner. Uh, some of our agency accounts are actually Facebook marketing partners as well, and this adds extra ammo. It is paid for, but all around this is priceless so go ahead do the facebook blueprint and also become a facebook partner as well because that's going to help you in the long run 
uh, it's absolutely it's absolutely amazing as well this brings on to the next step this step being fairly simple fairly easy to follow just literally follow facebook's policies once you've got a registered business you've done the blueprint you've also filled out all of your like relative information and you've gone ahead and become a facebook partner as well the last step of simply following the policies is fairly easy if you go ahead you don't show any body parts in your in your images or in your videos and you show the full image like let me just give you an example for those people that are fairly confused right so if you've ever been banned for po posting a product or body parts you can't understand why other people can literally have like bikini shots and stuff like that and you can't understand why it makes sense it's because if you do a video and for example it's like this so it's really close and it's like you've only got a certain amount of person there and you're saying like you're doing a neck massage for example and you're just doing a neck here that's probably going to get banned but if you go all the way here sorry about the audio but if you go all the way here and you're doing a neck massage there and you crop it in here to there that's going to work that's not going to get you banned just little things like that you're going to understand from going through the policy test and you're going to be able to avoid it facebook usually goes on a free to write policy system if you get banned three times usually you're going to get high cpms they'll push you out the game or you just all out get banned as it is so guys i hope that really helps i'm going to be active in the comments this is a really short video but i feel like it was needed so if you do need any help you'll get some type of policy issues just comment down in the link below i'll try to help you out obviously i'm not facebook can't solve everything but i'll be able to help you out if you need some help in getting around the policies so i hope this video helped you guys it's needed it's needed right now um and i hope you guys have a happy q4